So keeping your hands even and still and stopping all the movement and the things that distress our horse and make us lean on our hands. So you've just seen by my body movements, these are things riders do. They lean forward, they pull the hand to the crutch so that you're balancing on your hands. We move like this and try to keep in time with that horse where we're actually soaring on their face. You see this. Also, not pleasant from a horse's point of view. We need a quite still hand where we open and shut our fingers and go give and take with our horse. More give and less pulling back. So what I want to show you is why we have to keep our wrist, thumb on top, a bent elbow and our shoulders. So this is what you, you are about to see Janine ride with the whip like this. We're calling it a tray because it's a tray. We're carrying a tray. Now, if I straighten my elbows, check out my shoulders. I'll do it again. I'm going to straighten my elbow, check out my shoulders. Now, when I bend my elbow and soften, did you see my shoulders slide down? Now, that relaxed my shoulders and that allows my hand to be soft and for me to have control and not let the bit bounce in the horse's mouth. Or if you're riding bridleless, it'll stop your bozelle bam banging on the end of his nose. So let's do that one more time. Straight hands. And I'm going to jump up and down. Bent hands. Watch the hand in comparison to the rest of my body. So I hope that helps and you're about to see someone actually doing this. My name's Sue Franks. Tune in for my next training video. I deliberately straighten the arms out in front of you. So see your shoulders came up near your ears when that happened. Now I want you to think that elbows are heavy. Let the elbow drop, see how the shoulder blades come down. That allows us to have a long neck and soft shoulders. So what it does is it lets the shoulder blade slide down the back. Now our hands can follow and be softer. When we lock our elbow, it locks our shoulders and we form a resistance that we don't need to have. Yeah, yeah, it happens a lot. Just that softening the elbow can really help. Okay, Janine, add to that. What did you just discover in using the tray correctly? Say it very loudly. We've got to... I just realized it makes your hands and your feet become independent. Yes! Hands and seat, independent. She got it. This is wonderful. I feel like singing a spoonful of sugar for Mary Poppins. <laughs> I'm also not looking at my horse's head. I'm concentrating on my feet and my legs and my hands. So if you didn't get that, she's not looking at a horse's head. She's concentrating on a seat, her legs and her hands. All because she got her tray, her hands in front correctly. This, and so this is what this is. It's a little bit of discipline that is helping you. My goal is to teach you, but... My goal is also to teach you to teach yourself and have an awareness within yourself because I can't be here all the time and I want you to be a good rider when I'm not here. This is awesome. Good girl. I think you're getting it. So, okay, let's try that. So you're going to turn him towards me. So the left leg goes on, hold his belly out, move the tray to the left and you bring him around. Outside reins against his neck, of course. Now you're going to go to the right. So now you put the right leg on and move the tray to the right. That inside leg holds the shoulder up. You might have found your inside leg was a little bit too far back. It only needs to be in number two, the middle of his belly for that. It doesn't have to be all the way back, if that makes sense. So, there. The tr just put the leg in the middle of the body, come towards me, leg comes on, tray comes towards me, and walk around me to the outside. Making sure you keep your outside shoulder in line with the outside of your body. So this is holding his shoulder up, and keep the hands nice and level. Good girl. And you see it's easier to have that outline of the horse, that frame, because you're not pulling back. So the other thing that we have to be aware of while using the tray and using the whip as a training tool, it's only a training tool, don't live with it in your hands. It's just a little self-discipline at the beginning of a ride. So the other thing is how much do you pull back when you want to go forward and that's something else we need to work on but the tray will help you be aware yeah, I am already. yeah good girl we just move that back and forward good girl